Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All Trade. This is your girl, Miss Supermodel. And today I have your daily reads, okay? So what is the tea? We're about to find out what is up with y'all today, okay? So I'm going to be doing it um, by each sign today only because I was supposed to come back on here uh, Monday and do live readings, which I will be back on this evening, um, poss probably between... 6 and 7 um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I just had a lot of, like, shit going on for real, and a lot of unexpected things happened, and, you know, I wasn't in the right energy and the right positive mind to come out here and come on here and give you guys, you know, any, um, like, how can I uplift you guys and help you guys if I'm feeling down and depressed, you know, about something that didn't go right in my life, you see what I'm saying? But I'm over it, you know. I had to put that behind me. I couldn't dwell in that type of energy for too long. So I'm back and I will be back later and I will be doing the live reads, okay? So be ready, okay? Be ready. Is there anything the messages do you have for my viewers and my subscribers for today? <laughs> what is the truth? For you to be no. Okay. Oh, this is for Aquarius. This one came out. Basically, um, for Aquarius. No, I'm sorry, Capricorn. Capricorn. Um, you got the Nine of Wands. So basically, this is telling you to, you know, stay grounded. Um. Hold your, you know, hold yourself down, keep your cool, have faith, and courage, okay? So something that you're going to be going through today is going to call out for you to have faith and keep your cool, okay? And stay grounded. Um, what other messages do you have for Capricorn for today? Okay, I think that was everything else for the say to you guys. Oh, uh, one more. Okay, something else flew up. Um, we had got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so basically, um, in the upright, it means that you know you're taking on too much. You you're just doing too much right now. Something is a complete burden. Okay, so in the upright, okay, it's telling you to let go of the burden. Just drop it. Okay, lay it down. Do not worry about it anymore. That's why it's calling for you to have courage and faith and strength, okay? And just um, ground yourself, okay? And drop the burden. It's okay. Okay, so that was for Capricorns. Aquarius. Hey, sister signs. Uh-oh, we keep we talking already. Oh, y'all carrying the burden. What is going on? I just put these cards back in there. Y'all carrying the burden. Wow, Aquarius. Something that's burdening you. Well, oh. you're going to be dealing with something that's very troubling today. Here you go. Oh, heartbreak. We got the three of swords. Somebody is going to be experiencing um, carrying on a burden of a heartbreak. Or you're going to be dealing with some type of heartbreak. Somebody is going to do something that you didn't expect. You didn't ex you didn't see it coming. I'm sorry, but be on the lookout for that. What else do we have for um, my Aquarius? Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Somebody. And then we got the Page of Coins, too. So basically, um, with the Page of Coins, this is basically saying that somebody need to figure out, like, you're trying to figure out what it is. Some of y'all are trying to figure out what it is that, you need to do. Um, in this case, I would say you're trying to figure out how can you, you know, flip your coin for real. Basically, you, you're trying to figure out how you can flip your money today, okay? So some of y'all, y'all going to be thinking about how can y'all flip y'all money because I know this holiday season is coming up. And, um, ooh, some more came out. And it's causing you to have strength. Okay, and I, I'm pretty sure this is for the ones that's dealing with the um, the current is that's dealing with the heartbreak. Okay, 
it's calling for you to have strength as well. All right. Um, it's like Aquarius. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what you need to be on the lookout today. Yeah, I'm so sorry you guys are going to get a heartbreak situation, but a lot of things is coming out because it's a Scorpio season, so a lot of things that people have been keeping and, you know, keeping hidden, that stuff is coming out this, this month for some reason. And it's a good thing because nobody needs to go into the new year or go into, like, the Christmas holiday season with all this extra, you know what I'm saying? You want to know if this person is worth you getting a gift for. I mean, that's how I look at it. Pisces, we have the star. We have the star. Somebody's getting that wish today, okay? Um, if you're thinking about something or you're hoping for something to happen, make a wish. It's your time. Also, um, some of you guys need to um, have hope and have faith, okay? And whatever it is that, that you're going through today. So it's something that you're going through and it's calling for you to have hope and faith. Um, for other you Pisces, you know, your wishes are coming through, okay? Um, for other you Pisces, you want something to happen so bad, you're thinking about it so bad, you just want it, make your wish because it's coming true. It's coming true. What other messages do you have for Pisces for today? Oh. And so we have the Seven of Cups. The seven of cups about wishful thinking. What I just say, it, I mean, it's about other things. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm go through all of them. So wishful thinking. So like I said, what I say, make your wish. Okay, this card is full. I'm not seeing you shuffling these main cards. Make your wish. Okay, it's going to come true. Have hope and have faith. That's what it's telling you. Okay, if it's some of y'all, um, y'all wishing for somebody. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, y'all wishing for somebody. Okay. And that's how I see it. Any other uh, messages that you have for Pisces? If some of y'all was looking up at those cups and trying to figure out which one y'all should take, y'all might have a lot of options. And um, some of you probably like, hey, I don't know what to do, you know. When that star card came out, it said if you have hope and faith, okay, you'll make the right decision. On which one option you need to choose. Okay, Pisces, y'all don't got no more messages. Um, who's that Pisces? Pisces. Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? And that actually some song was just on talk about I choose you or something. I I can't go back to it because it's on my um I mean, it's a playlist of songs, but I don't know who that person was. And I said, go look. But that sounds like that song belong with you, Pisces. I'll try to link that song in the description box. Um, Aries, you have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So, um, either you're thinking about moving towards somebody. Um, you're thinking about moving forward to somebody in a passionate way. Or traveling to somebody um, for some passion or somebody is going to come to you for passion okay so you might be in getting some passion today if you know what I mean <laughs> what else we got okay and your wishes will be fulfilled okay you got the nine of cups so somebody is going to be coming towards you with the passion whoever you're passionate about or if you was thinking about somebody jumping your bones or whatever the case may be today that person is coming to you okay or you go into that person, okay, and your wishes will be fulfilled. You see that? This man is just peaceful, chilling. He ain't got a care in the world, okay? That's how you're going to be and happy. Any other messages for, um, for Aries today? I'm trying to sing in my damn damn voice. I'm sick a little bit, y'all. But I'm trying to get it through. <laughs> okay, then we don't got no they don't got no more messages to tell y'all Aries today. So who's at the Aries? Um Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. I need to make a list. I keep on saying it like the alphabet. You know how like 
when you, uh, <laughs> you know how like when you forget like a letter in the alphabet, you gotta go like, oh, what a A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, and go back to it. That's all I do sometimes. Shoot. All right, Taurus. You got the king of, um, I mean the king, the goddamn king, the queen of pentacles, okay? So somebody is working on securing that bag today. Um, you could be a mother. Um, this is your card, though, Taurus. It's the, um, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn card, okay? So you came up today. Um, but like I said, you could be securing your bag today. Um, you probably just basically solely working on finances. Um, today, you know, it was a laid back, chill back day. For some of y'all, y'all just laid back and chill back today. You know, you in your element, you in your zone. Oh, yeah. And then y'all also got the Knight of Coins, too. Um, so basically, some of you guys are thinking about um, making somebody an offer, okay? Either somebody's going to um, come to you with some coin, okay? Like I said, you're securing your bag. And somebody might just come to you with a financial offer, okay? Or um, somebody's going to come to you with an offer, or you're thinking about making an offer to somebody, okay? Any other messages you have to... And then we have the moon. Some of y'all need to be aware of the moon, okay? Even though the sun is out, this moon is like right behind it, okay? Following it. Meaning that it's things that you don't know. Okay? So y'all need to be aware of that. Some of y'all is the reason why the moon is, is about to come out. I mean, some of y'all the reason why the moon is here. Oh, no. Some of y'all is dealing with um, betrayal today, okay? So it was some secrets that came out um, with you Tauruses, and, um, you know, some of you guys, um, either you're feeling betrayed or you're going to feel betrayed um, by something that came out and hurt you, okay? Or something that's going to end today. I don't know, you know, what that could possibly be. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the towel flew right out. If something is going to end with you, with you Tauruses today, okay? So, I'm sorry, you know. Um, and this is just different messages for different ones of y'all. Because I'm just shuffling and channeling, you know. The Lord knows who's going to get the messages and who's not, you know. Who these messages is for. I'm just the one, you know, the messenger. That's all. Just the messenger. So, yeah. So, some of y'all, like I said, I'm just going to wrap it up. Um, some of y'all Tauruses today, you know, like I said, some of y'all is going to be worrying about your money. Y'all will be securing your bag, Okay. Some of y'all is going to get, somebody's going to come to y'all with a financial offer, okay? Or some type of offer, okay? Or you may be trying to offer something to somebody, okay, today. Um, or thinking about offering something to somebody. For others of you, there was um, some secrets that you may have found out, and I'm pretty sure that it came to light because um, we had got the Ten of Swords, and then we had got the... Um, the Ten of Swords, and then what was the other one? Um, the Tower. There you go. The Tower. So a betrayal happened, and something is going to end, or something so you're going to get rid of somebody because of, um, you know, or some secrets because they was just being shysty for real. Like, let's just keep it real. All right. From Taurus. Let's see. Who got the Taurus? Aries. Taurus. Aries. Capricorn, Taurus. Pisces. Aries. Towards Gemini. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my Gemini viewers and subscribers? You guys got the full, okay? And it was in the upright this time, so I don't gotta get on y'all. Because you know, if it was like this, I would have been like, huh, baby. But right now, it's in this way, so, you know. So basically, um, you guys are just thinking about, you know, starting something new, you know. Um, you want to explore and, you know, you want to just start something new. You want to explore new territory, you know. It's just time for a new beginning. So you're thinking about everything that's new, you know, doing something new, starting some, a new journey or something, okay. What else do you have for my Gemini's? Let me start. What other messages do you have? Let's see what time it is. I got to...
be full. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to see what time it is. 10.08. Cause I gotta get out of here soon. I gotta finish getting myself ready. Of course, I ain't going away. Well, look at my Raven shirt. My Raven shirt, repping for the Be More Ravens. Okay. And it's not even a Sunday. And got the asses mops by the fucking uh the New England Patriots, okay, just recently. And I love the Patriots. So every time they come, to, every time the Ravens and the Patriots, uh, well, I was about to say battle or whatever. Because uh, I don't really watch football like that, but I do watch when they play, okay? And I definitely watch when they come together and play because I really like it. But um, every time they, you know, you know, every time they, uh, they go up against each other on the field or whatever, people be like, Oh, you got to move up out of here. You, you can't live in this neighborhood no more because you represent the uh the Patriots. So we like, what? <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Any other messages here from my Geminis? I don't know. That just came out. Um, some of you guys, the Geminis, um, you got the Knight of Coins. So some of you guys... Are going to be um, making a financial offer to somebody, or this could be any kind of offer, okay? Um, some of you guys are going to be making an offer to someone today, so be on the lookout for that. Or, I mean, if you're thinking about that, then you know, today would be a good day to do so. Or, um, somebody is coming to make you an offer today, okay? Um, it could be financially, it could be anything, so just be on the lookout for that. And then some of you guys, um, you got the two of coins, so some of you guys are going to be getting into a partnership today. Like I just said, somebody's going to be making your offer. Maybe that's going to be an offer, you know, in a union, and a partnership. Maybe someone will be like, well, maybe we should start dating today. Or um, maybe, you know, somebody's going to be like, maybe we should take things to the next level. So this could be somebody that um, you're friends with or somebody that you've been kicking it with for a while, you know, but y'all ain't had no title or something like that. And that's how I see it. Um, and I see that today, you know, they're going to come to you with an offer and basically, um, be like, yo, let's just, you know, make this thing official. You see what I'm saying? Probably not a merge or nothing, but I mean, I ain't saying a merge, but some of y'all might be getting proposed, <laughs> you know, a merge proposal, but I'm just saying like, they could be like, let's make things official and, you know, you my man and, you know, all that stuff. All that good stuff that we all want for this holiday season, Okay. Cause nobody ain't trying to be snuck up in this day going, um, when this cold comes, we ain't trying to be snuck up in here, you know, by ourselves and our beards, right? Like, we want our man with us, keeping us warm and stuff. And if you're a man watching, we went out, you want to be snuck up against, you know, a nice, fine little honey. That's just how it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, who's at the Gemini? Because I don't think no one messages is coming up, y'all. Yeah, we're going to praise Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Cancer. Holy Spirit, the messages. Okay. Y'all got two cards that came out cancer. Y'all got the high priestess. Okay, and this is calling for you to use your intuition. And then y'all also got the four of um wands. Okay, so you need to use your intuition about somebody that you have a deep um connection with, okay? And this is what um it came out together, so I have to read it like this. Um some of you need to read um some of you guys will be coming in contact with your soulmate today or twin flame, okay? However you want to say it. Um, people have different meanings for it, but I mean, it is different meanings, but I'm not going to get into all that, okay? So I'm just going to say it like this. Some of you are coming into connection with your soulmate or twin flame today, okay? Somebody that you have a deep spiritual bond with, okay? And um, some of you guys have been use your intuition when coming into this person because some of you will just be meeting this person today or some of you will be reuniting with this person today some of you will be celebrating in union with this person today in some type of way okay also some yeah that's it what other messages do we have for cancer okay yeah the can of cup the kin, of, the kin of cup, <laughs> the kin of cups. Okay, he's the kin of the cups. You know, like the kin Bobby dog. Oh my God, I should stop calling him kin, but I'm not. But anyway, that's the king, <laughs> the king of cups. I said the damn kin of cups. Lord have mercy. 
Okay, the King of Cups. So basically, with this King, okay, you guys, uh, um, okay, this King is an emotional King. You know, he's very, um, he does he doesn't have a problem of showing his emotions. Okay, he's very generous. He's very kind-hearted. You know, so a lot of you guys are going to be um, experiencing a lot of, um, a lot of happy. You know. Being in your emotions today, okay? Um, you want to be expressing your emotions to people. And that's, you know, another reason why, I, um, you know, that twin flame card and that, in, that intuition card probably came out. Because um, you will be expressing your emotions with the person, you know, with your twin flame. So just for the lookout, you're going to be emotional today. That's all. That's all they're saying. Any other messages for Cancer before I move on to the next? Which is. And while I was doing y'all reading Cancer, so anxious came on by Gemini. So maybe you're anxiously waiting to, uh, <laughs> to see this person, you know. So anxious. Yeah, maybe you're anxiously waiting. Um, y'all got the king, the queen of um, cut, the queen of coins. Okay, so some of y'all, um, Cancer is going to be worrying about, um, your money today, okay? Y'all really going to be worrying about, um, getting yourself, um, stable in money, getting financial stability if you're not, okay? You're going to be thinking about money. Okay, who's next? Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Taking all these green cards. <laughs> That's too much. These Leo's guys get up somewhere. I don't think I need these cards flying out of my damn hands. No, I'm just funny. I should have taken them all, but what I did see was um I did see the uh the Knight of Cups. So somebody will be coming to me here off of Leo. Look, this is what I need to say that. And it's probably a romantic offer. Um, Holy Spirit, we must just do half of Leo for today. I see the ten of cups. Some of you guys will be um, making a commitment with somebody or um, dealing with family. Um, we got the nine of coins. So basically, um, some of you guys are just going to be working hard. You know, working hard, building up, um, working hard. If you have something like a trade or something that you're doing, you know, you're going to be working hard to develop your trade. Um, if you have like special gifts and talents, you're going to be working hard to, um, develop those, those, um, gifts. Okay. Um, we got the five of cups. So some of you guys, um, will be feeling like, You guys will be feeling um, some sort of loss today, some type of regret. Okay, this is for some of y'all, not all y'all. That's why I'm pulling a whole bunch of different cards. So some of you guys will be feeling um, some type of loss or regret today um, over a situation that happened. Um, and But what this is basically saying is that you can't cry over spilled milk, okay? That's all I'm saying. You can't cry over spilled milk. You got these two cups sitting right here, okay? And then you have these cups, you know, right here on the ground, the five, the three other cups. But you got two cups in front of you. So what you crying for? What you dwelling for? You got two right here. Pick one of those. You know, but you crying about these, the ones that's on the ground. It ain't nothing you can do unless you pick them up and fill them back up. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is the message for you. It's just, you know, if you're feeling in this regretful loss, you know, type of stage over what you have lost, you know, and you're just too blind to see that you have two cups sitting right here because you're looking down with them. Like, pick yourself up. Get it together, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. So, you're going to get a brand new full cup. So, forget those three cups that have fell onto the ground. You see what I'm saying? Forget about them because you're about to get a whole full cup and it's about to be overflowing. You feel me? Hmm. My fault in heaven don't lie to me, okay? And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all no lies. 
And what I say, this card just flew right out. The nine of um, cups, which is fulfillment. Once you get out of what you had lost, stop crying over spilled milk, okay? That big cup is going to come to you, and you're going to get your wishes fulfilled, okay? That's what I got to say for y'all Leos, okay, Leo? Next, who's at the Leo? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Oh, y'all with the hermit one to come out. Some of y'all is just... Uh, Okay, we got the hermit, and then we got the fool. So, with the hermit card, some of y'all are just retreating right now, okay, going within and thinking, okay? Then we got the um, the fool. So, some of y'all, um, what did I say? Virgo. Some of y'all Virgos um, is about to embark on a new journey, okay? You want to start something new. You want something fresh and new. In your life, you know, and you're just ready to go, you know, on this new journey. And um, it looked like you just, yeah, you're ready to start on this new journey. Um, but make sure you keep both eyes forward, okay? I feel like I need to say this. Um, meaning, when I say keep both eyes forward, like, don't look back. Some of you guys are in a situation where. You want to move on because the situation isn't good for you, okay? And um, when you get the, the strength, okay, to go ahead and move forward on this new adventure and this new journey that you need to move forward to, don't look back, okay? Keep looking forward. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of um, Wands, okay? So some of you guys is in passionate passionate, <laughs> passionate uh, type of mood today, okay, because we all know about our lady, Miss Queen, the wands, and this fool keeps coming back out, again, I just shovel for you, and the fool jumped right back out again, what else am I supposed to say about this fool, um, maybe some of you guys are moving forward, um, you know, want a passionate new beginning, you know, so, yeah, and then the, the king of um, coins is right at the bottom, somebody's about to make you an offer, or you're about to make somebody an offer, okay, Virgo, so, that's what I do see, what other messages do you have for Virgo for today? You guys got the nine of coin, um, cups too, okay? Which is fulfilled. A lot of people getting their wishes fulfilled today. That's pretty great. I'm very proud of you guys, okay? A lot of people getting their wishes fulfilled today. So be on the lookout. It's something that you really wanted. Um, you know, and maybe that has a lot to do with that offer. Maybe you've been hoping that somebody makes you an offer or, you know, or whatever the case. Maybe you hope wait, waiting for somebody to bring something to you or waiting for somebody to come with something, okay? And, you know, whatever that is, it's going to be fulfilled today. So, be on the lookout for that, you know, or whatever you've been thinking about. Your wish is going to be fulfilled, so don't worry. Um, okay, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Libra. Ooh, all these cards came out, and I said I wasn't going to take them for the other sign that came, but I'm going to take them for these. This must be pretty heavy. Okay, so we have the Emperor. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Lord have mercy. We got the King, I mean, the Knight of Cups in reverse. We got the Four of Swords in reverse. And the goddamn Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I'm just going to break each card down individually. And I'm going to talk about the bottom of the deck card. And I'm going to move right on to Scorpio, okay? Because y'all getting the royal treatment right now with all these cards. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, basically, um, the first card that came up was the Emperor. So, um, either some of you guys are in a controlling situation right now. Um, but the Emperor is very powerful, okay? Some of you guys are in a, um, you know, a feeling in your power, too. But 
um, I feel like some of you guys um, are trying to gain control over a situation or in a controlling situation, okay? So, that's what I feel, okay? And some of you guys are going to be in contact with your, um, your Divine Masculine, too. Okay, like I said before, with this Five of Cups, with the other sign, you know, some of you guys are feeling some type of loss and regret, you know, about what was lost, okay? And the same message applies. What I said to them is what I'm going to say to you, Libras, okay? Stop crying over the spilled milk. Like, for what? We got T right here. Like, just appreciate that. Just appreciate that. Okay, let's get into these reversal cards. So basically, you're not looking forward to offering nobody no type of emotion today. Okay, you ain't thinking about offering nobody no emotions. You ain't worrying about offering nobody no emotions. You don't give a crap if anybody else has an emotion. Okay? You ain't worrying about no love. You saying fuck love, basically. This is how y'all feeling today. Somebody out there is feeling. I ain't saying all y'all. One of y'all Libras that's watching, y'all feeling like, fuck your ass, fuck love, fuck all of this. Whatever that was, they put you through hell. They put you through it. And that's probably why you're feeling all this loss and regret and all this crap and you're crying over the spilled milk. But it's calling for you to have control, okay? Make, get control over the situation. Stop crying over the spilled milk, okay? Get yourself together and get yourself in, back in control and back on your throne like this emperor, Okay? So you can turn this this way, okay? Either you'll be having your heart open to giving people the love, okay? But right now, I understand that you're heartbroken right now, and it's going to take a little bit of time. I know, because I know how that shit is. But I'm just saying, eventually, you're going to have to get over this, and you're going to have to get some type of control back in your life, okay? Don't dwell in this type of energy too long. Just don't. I'm telling you, it'll make you better. I mean, it really will, and I mean, but you will get over it, though. I see whoever that is that's going through this, um, this heartbreaking loss, you will get over it. Um, but you have to, um, yeah, but this is calling for you to take control today. And if you do have the strength today, like, you know, if you do have the strength, you know, I would like for you to come out of that regretful five of, um, cups energy and you know become this emperor like just look in the mirror and say to yourself like you know even though I've been through this situation um even though this has hurt me even though this has pained me um you know this even though I'm so devastated by this because yeah even though I'm so devastated by this like um just look yourself in the mirror and say like there's better things out there for me there is something better around the corner. Like this happened for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Like everything happens for a reason. And that's and that's that's what I believe. Why is this thing piece of hair just doing whatever they want to do? I don't know. But everything happens for a reason, and that's what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, and I whoever that is, I'm gonna pray for you. I mean, I don't know your name or you know who you are that's going through this, but I will keep all y'all in my prayers. I keep, I'll keep all of y'all in my prayers. I do all the time. You know, because um, that's what I got to do. You know, we got to pray for one another because we never know what our sister or what our brother is going through, okay? And I call all y'all my sisters and my brothers, no matter, you know, your nationality, age, or whatever. Because at the end of the day, you know, we all connected, okay, in this human race. That's all I got to say. So now we got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So somebody was looking, either you was looking to make a romantic um, gesture to someone, um, but you changed your mind, okay? So you're feeling like you're not going to do that anymore. Or somebody was come, trying to come to you and make a romantic gesture or romantic offer, and you turned them down, okay? Or you will be turning them down. I don't know why you'll be turning them down. I'm just saying this is what I see for you guys is the energy I see for you believers for today. So you may be turning this person down um, for something. Let me see what the time is. All right, we ain't got time. It's 10.26. Um, 
What was I saying before I looked at the clock? And look, this is Mariah Carey song. Just gonna listen to this. Come back, baby, please, cause we belong together. Y'all don't hear this? Who's gonna talk to me when the bounce of sun comes up? Who's gonna take your place? There ain't nobody there. Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. See, that's what I'm saying. Whoever this person is that's in this regretful, um, this three, this, this five of cups energy and feeling all lost and depressed because, you know, they was, because they're not looking for no offer because he was heartbroken. Like, you got to get out of this and you got to get in your strength. Like, especially if you want that person back. Like, how do you want to think this person, this person is not going to want you back if they see you in the state. They not because they're gonna feel like you you weak. They are gonna feel like you weak for real. You need to come in this confident state. This confident state, stand strong and be confident and have control on your throne. That's how you need this motherfucker to see you, okay? And that's all I'm saying. That's how you need him to see you. You need him to see you confident on your throne like this. You know, I'm that. You see what I'm saying? You don't need him to see you in this. In this lost and regretful um, um, state. Girl, get yourself together. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm trying to help you. Okay, please heed these warnings. Please, just listen. Just listen, y'all. So basically, with the Knight of Cups. So like I said, you ain't offering nobody nothing. You ain't looking for no offers. You're not thinking about a romance. The same thing in this person. So I feel like this is for the same damn person. Okay, this is for the same person. You ain't office is coming to you, or office is coming to you, people is is coming towards you and you turn sh shooting them down, okay? And this could be for some separate people, but some people might be just coming towards y'all today and y'all turning down, you know, these romantic gestures, okay? What else we got? We got the four swords in reverse. So basically, um for some of y'all, y'all coming out of rest stage, okay? Y'all coming out of being of contemplating y'all coming out of a period of meditating y'all coming out of a period of being stuck in your mind on what to do okay because today you're going to have the clear answer that's you coming out of you know all of that because the answer is going to be clear to you today okay and you're going to be getting out of that stuck state okay and the same goes for this eight of swords okay so you was trapped in prison you know Personally attract the same thing. You was, you know, except for this one, you was like, you wasn't like deep, deep. I mean, you was deep, deep, but then, you know, you was just, uh, you know, like just meditating and praying and thinking about the decision that you had to make before you come out of it. But this one, like, you was really in a deep, okay? And you was really, um, and, you know, you really was in your mind and your thoughts about this situation and you really just didn't know what to do, but. You know, today you get some type of clarity and you coming out of this situation, okay? So whatever you was trapped in, you know, whatever that was that you was trapped in and thinking about and whatever was keeping you in this, um, what is this? The Eight of Swords um, energy, you coming out of that today, okay? And you coming into your, your you getting your control. You getting your control, you getting your power, you're going to be confident, you're going to be sitting on your throne, like this emperor okay and that's what i got for y'all libras i said i want to join them because y'all y'all got all these y'all got the special royal treatment yeah and then the six of cups came out at the bottom so some of y'all is nostalgic and thinking about the past like looking back on the past like i said with that five of cups like you worrying and wilding about in the past and some of y'all is coming out of which I was thinking coming out of the situation from the past, okay? So y'all walking away. Even though y'all looking back, you still walking away. How about you turn your head this way and keep on trucking? Don't be looking back there, okay? Because there ain't nothing back there for you. Not one thing. Who's at the Libra? Scorpio? What other message do you have for Scorpio? And look, let me play this damn song for y'all real quick. Look. I'm going to link all these songs I'm playing in the description. This is 
Brian McNay. Listen. It's been six months, eight days, 12 hours since you went away. Is you really counting down the time? Really? I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. But I just need you guys to not be in that type of energy. Because I've been there before. This is why. Like, I've been in that type of situation before, okay? I used to be in that situation. So I know. Like, I can speak on this because I know. Like, I was you at one point. You see what I'm saying? I used to sit and wonder, like... And I do it now. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I do that. I do that shit now too. But I gotta check myself and be like, girl, like you need to go find something to do. You need to cause he ain't coming back to you if you doing this and doing that. You know what I'm saying? I do that stuff even now, like to this day. So you know, you just gotta check yourself and get into that um that strength. You know, you gotta get into your confidence. Okay, get your control back. Get control back of your life. You have to. Like I was telling y'all before I came onto this video, two days ago, I found out some news that, you know, I was expecting to get something and, you know, I had high hopes for it and it didn't come through for me and I was mad, like I was pissed off. So I couldn't even come on here and like, you know, do any readings and stuff for y'all because I was all in my feelings and in my energy. But then over the past two days, I had, you know, thinking about it and all that stuff and I had realized that. That happened to me for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Because I have, God has other plans for me. There's other things for me to do. But I was just depressed and stuck in, in my feelings, you know, just to, to yesterday and the day before yesterday. But I had to get out of that. You know, I had to. I had to get my control back and get my confidence. You know, and I know it's not easy to do, but you have to find a way to do that. You know, find something that makes you really happy, you know, and, um, like a skill that you that you like or something like that and you know to take your mind off of it and just work on that okay um let me fix this card because i don't know when this card to come out of my head unless it's meant to okay next scorpio what message do you have for my scorpio subscribers and viewers holy spirit oh okay y'all got three cards Four cards that flew out. Oh, okay. Some of you Scorpios today are going to be, um, you, we got the four swords. You guys are going to be, um, contemplating and meditating today about some things, okay? Um, Also, some of you guys are going to be taking a break from whatever situation that you be going through, and you're going to just be resting your mind, okay? Um, a lot of people, y'all going to be uh, meditating and thinking, but for some of you, you're going to be just um, resting your mind, you know, trying to get your thoughts clear of all of whatever it is that's been going on with you, okay? Some of you guys are going to get some type of mental truth and clarity today, so some truth is going to come to you, okay? Um, I don't know how this truth is going to come about. But you're going to be, um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to come as you go through this contemplation, contemplation, yeah, contemplation stage, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure that's not the word I said the first time, but oh well. Um, I said it right the second time. So basically, um, you guys are going to be coming out of this contemplation um, state. I mean, why, you're going to be getting the truth of clarity while doing this contemplation stage, doing your rest of period, okay? And it's going to allow your time, to, um, allow your time, allow time for your, um, for your mind, to, for your mind to clear itself. And you're going to get the truth and clarity that you've been seeking, okay? Because some of you have been seeking some type of clarity. Um, for some of you guys, I see there's going to be a lot of conflict and confusion, okay? And for some of you, um, the conflict and confusion that you have been going through will be ending. I'm being told that the conflict and confusion that that you um that you have been going through okay it will come to an end okay and that's the reason why um you'll be gaining some type of mental truth and clarity about the situation in some cases okay um for some of you there will be a lot of confusion and there will be a lot of conflict okay and um you'll be getting clarity and it's gonna cause you to go and clear your mind because you know, you're confused and you don't know what to do, but you're going to be getting um, some type of clarity about it. 
okay and you know you just um some of you guys ain't gonna be able to figure it out okay and it's gonna put you in this um this deep you know mental um i wouldn't say like a mental breakdown but um I wouldn't say a mental breakdown, but you guys, some of you guys are on the brink of a mental breakdown um, for some reason. Yeah. Some of you guys are on the brink of a mental breakdown um, because you have so much going on in your mind and you just don't know. You have so much going on in your mind and. You just don't know what to really do, okay? So, for those of you who are going, who has all this trapped up in your mind, you know, and you don't know what to do, and you want to be free of all these thoughts, you're thinking about things, the same thing is coming to your mind over and over again, and you're wondering, and you want to break free of this thought, you're like, I don't even think about this anymore. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. I just want to stop thinking about this. You know, what you need to do is go and meditate, okay? And give your brain a rest. You have to give your brain some type of rest, okay? Um, that's the only way that you're going to come out of this confusion, okay? Because you're confused in your mind right now about what it is that you want to do. And you have too many thoughts running through, okay? That's what the confusion is, okay? That's what the conflict is for some of you. Um, so, it's, so you have the you have it going through your mind and you just need to let it go, Okay? You know, you need to give your brain some type of rest. You have to rest your brain, okay? Some of you need to physically actually sleep because some of you guys haven't been sleeping, okay? And once you physically actually get some rest, yeah, some of you guys have not been sleeping well, okay? And once you get your physically, re you know, your rest, physically rest your body so that your mind can relax and then you will get the, the truth and clarity that you seek and then you will come out of this, you'll be in this way instead of being like this. See what I'm saying? But that was for Scorpio. Yeah. And then the bottom of the deck, we got the Three of Cups. Okay. So either some of you guys, um, once you come out of that and get the mental truth of clarity, then it'll be time to celebrate. It'll be time for a reunion. You know, it, it's going to be a big party. Okay. It's going to be time to celebrate, be with people, you know, because some of you guys aren't. Some of you guys are really like keeping yourself confined in a space and thinking about some shit and not trying to deal with nobody, okay? But after you after you go through all that, rest your brain, you know, so that you, your brain can be, um, I don't know what I want to say, but after you rest your brain so that your brain can, you know, get some rest, you can think more clearly, and you'll get the, you know, get the clarity that you need, then you'll be able to come and be in pop, general population again, okay? Let's think, look at it like that, okay? Look at it like that. Now, you trapped in a prison, okay, an actual prison, okay, like you've seen on, uh, on TV. Like you see on TV, you trapped in a prison, a prison cell, okay? And once you give your brain a rest, you'll, they'll put you back, they'll release you out to the public again, okay? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I don't know why I can't help this kind of analogy, you know what I'm saying? And then you'll be happy. Okay, you it'll be time for celebration. Okay, I don't know why I had to say it like that. I think somebody needed me to break it down that way for some reason. If you appreciated the way that I broke that down, give me a like, please, and thank you. Okay, so we at the Scorpio. Now we're on. Um, let me see what time it is. Ten forty-two. Look. This guy just said, I think I'm in prison. I think I will never love again. What is the name of the song? Let me screenshot it so I can add this. This is Babyface, The Loudness. It grown and sexy. I'm going to like this song too. I'm going to try to go check this song out. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna I screenshot this so I can put the song in the um in the description. I want y'all Scorpios to go and look this song up, okay? Look this song up. And listen, if even if you're in the Scorpio, listen to the song anyway. That it might help you. But this is probably how you feel right now, and that's probably why you're in this mental prison. Okay? <laughs> that's probably why you're in this mental prison. And for you to get out of this, you know. So maybe you listen to this song. Maybe this song will heal you, okay? Maybe listen to the song will help your mind rest and then help you get the truth and clarity that you need so that you can get to this place. Because you seem to just shuffle the cards and it's still sitting right here. So obviously, the Lord said you ain't done talking about it. So yeah. Um, who else do we got? Scorpio. I mean, Scorpio. Um, yeah, you think that you ain't going to love anybody again. That's what it is. Somebody hurt y'all Scorpios and y'all feeling like y'all not gonna um y'all feeling like y'all not gonna fall in love again for some reason. But you will and you in your mind thinking about that. And it's funny because all the cards that came up for y'all was not no emotion cards. But when that song came out, it was just like it just put all the pieces together for me, you know. Um who we on next? Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius um, viewers and subscribers? What do you want my Sagittarius to know? Okay, Sagittarius, we got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so basically, um, With the Knight of Swords, I see that you guys are um, moving quick, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords, you know, I always say that the Knight of Swords moves too fast, okay? He's very brave. Like, he's not afraid to go out there and do what needs to be done. I mean, he's really not. He he will go out, like, say you got a problem. Like, say you talk to your girlfriend and you got a problem, like, with somebody. you be like, girl, yeah, because... This person did X, Y, and Z, and blah, Z, blah. And they be like, oh, you want to go out there and hand him for you? Like, that's how he is. Like, he just go. Like, he go with the flow. He he go, he make moves without letting people know, without thinking clearly about it. Like, he just make moves without without thinking clearly about it, okay? Because he young. Like, he, he young. He, um... I mean, he had a little bit stronger than he was before at his previous stage when he was the page. But, um, but yeah, he just, he just act without thinking for real. And that's how I see, like, some of y'all is going to be doing something where y'all acting without thinking. Or you think, or, um, yeah, y'all going to be put in a situation today where y'all going to be acting without thinking. But this is a warning, like, don't, okay? Like, Keep your cool. Keep your cool. Because, and the reason why is because we got the moon under here, Sagittarius. So, y'all gonna be wanting to react. Y'all gonna be wanting to react, okay, without thinking. Keep your cool because something's coming out, a secret, okay? Let's see what's underneath. The Ten of Swords. Because somebody that fucking stabbed your ass in the back, okay? Keep you cool. Don't go after their asses like that. Don't don't make no decisions that you don't need to. Keep you cool. Be like it's good. It's all good. Yeah, and for some of you um Sagittarius is out here, somebody's coming to make you um an offer of love, okay? Some of y'all is getting an offer of me. So all of y'all ain't, you know, about the final secrets out. But some of y'all, somebody's coming to make you an offer, or you making somebody an offer. And we have it again. They're telling us again. Um, you might have two offers coming up, okay? And, um, yeah, somebody's coming to offer you some cup of love. You might have two offers today. And the reason why I said it is because we got the five of cups, okay? And you see how we have the two cups sitting on the table. So you might be feeling, like, kind of sad or, um... Trying to think about which offer that you want to take today, okay? Because we got the two cups sitting right here. 
And we have, you know, this cup, this guy giving up a cup and this big old cup coming out the way. So you're trying to, you're in the middle right here. This is you in the middle trying to figure out if you should take this cup or this cup. And you're looking at the two cups on the table and trying to figure out which choice you should make, okay? And I did see the emperor, so whatever choice you make, you know, if it's the right choice or not, I'm hoping so, but whatever choice you make, it should lead you to your masculine. And it should lead you to this two cups. <laughs> this, this two cups. This two cups. <laughs> two of cups. <laughs> okay, it leads you to this partnership, okay, in this reunion. Um, you know, some type of partnership or coming together um, with this person. Okay, that you choose in this space of saying have patience. Temperance is at the bottom. Have patience because the commitment is coming. Okay, you about to get the house, the dog, all the money, the man, everything. Good luck, Sagittarius. Okay, good luck, aunties. So that is all I have for you guys today. I was gonna post a romance angel cards, but I really gotta get going. Because it's 1049 and I got something I gotta be, you know. But um I will be coming back today. So I will be coming back today, you guys, and um, I'm gonna do the live readings, okay? For having, um, it was supposed to be for my for having reaching 50 subscribers, okay? And I'll go into detail on how I'm gonna be doing that whole thing um, later on. So make sure you guys come back, okay? Um, to the channel um, about six, between six and seven, okay? Um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And um, if you have any questions, I'll be answering, you know, some of you guys' questions live. You know, just for appreciation for you guys, you know, subscribing to my channel and supporting me and commenting and liking and sharing and all these different things, okay? So, like this video, y'all, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video, if it resonated with you. Um, I would like to hear what you have to say, you know, and if it's too deep, you don't want to put your stuff in the comment, you know, I'll have my Instagram link below. Like, you can send me a message through Instagram, you know, I won't go in telling people your business like that. You see what I'm saying? I mean, really. So, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I mean, if you don't really want people to know what it is that you're going through, you can Instagram me and tell me, you know, and maybe I can help you work through some of those things. And also, um... Currently, like I'm not taking any personal readings at the moment. Um, I will be opening personal readings up um, sometime throughout the end of the month. But currently, I'm just only accepting donations. You know, um, I'm just getting into the feel, um, the feel of doing tarot and things like that. Like I'll explain all my story like later when I get on live. But you know, I'm just getting into like the feel of tarot, and I'm just like enjoying, enjoying, <laughs> enjoying, y'all. No enjoying <laughs> I did not speak right um, I'm just enjoying uh, helping you guys and that's another reason why I feel like that whatever that situation was that I was going through two days ago why that offer didn't come through for me was because that's not where I was supposed to be okay I wasn't supposed to be there um, God has another plan for me he has another agenda for me okay and he doesn't want me over there doing, you know, just he doesn't want me in that place. He wants me here doing this, helping people, okay? This is what my calling is right now. So I just have to accept it and I have to um, to face it. And I was kind of disappointed because I couldn't get what I wanted over here. But at the end of the day, you know, it just led me to here. And I hope and pray that, you know, because I am starting my, my spiritual journey as well. And, you know, um, I hope and pray that, you know, I can connect with some wonderful people while I'm on this journey. You see what I'm saying? And that's all that I want to say, you know. Um, so, yeah, like this video. Um, if it subscribe, I mean, if you if it resonated with you, let me know. You know, and um, subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends, you know, and things like that. And uh, I'll see you guys later on this evening or in the next video.